What's up everybody? My name is Arctic. Welcome to the corner today. We talk about vital versus face plant versus serum. Yeah, that's the intro. Let's get started. My name is Arctic. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and let's get started, shall we? So first things first, we got to talk about vital, which is a free plugin by Matt Titel. And basically it's a, uh, you can call it like a wave table synthesizer. I definitely would. But the basic idea behind it is there is three oscillators. All of them are practically the same. You can route them to different filters. You can route them to the general uh, direct out, which I usually technically use one for a sub oscillator, but that that's just different for everyone. So the main difference between this already right off the bat is that there is already a infinite different differential kind of difference between this. Base plant has infinite as many oscillators you, or generators. They call it generators, but I call it oscillators. There's already enough oscillators to support basic wavetable synthesis, not advanced. So what I would say is Vital is already being outranked by phase plant. Now, if you want to compare this to Serum, it is very much like Serum in the sense that there's three oscillators, but this third oscillator in Vital could be whatever you want it to be. It could be a sub oscillator. It could be literally anything except I would dedicate it to a sub op. And then obviously Serum has its own limitations with how many filters you can have. Usually there's only two filters, which is your effects filter and your bass filter, which is like oscillator filter, if you will. And then obviously Vital has three oscillators, which is your two front uh, oscillator filters. And then you have your effects filter. Now the main difference between this and Serum's uh, effects is there are many different types of them. You have your digital, you have your analog, you have your dirty, you have your ladder, you have a lot of different filters, but a lot of them are the, very much the same. The next thing is Serum has that Vital doesn't, is advanced oscillator controls. Now in Vital, you only have your basic shifting modes, which is usually vocode and performance scales and all these kind of cool shifting modes. Then you have your synchromant, quantize, bend, squeeze plus, or pulse, uh, um, PWM. So you can play around with this. You can make really cool split bases with it. But obviously, the thing that this this plugin that everything else doesn't have is that second set of filters. That faceplant doesn't really go in and tell you what it is. You have to find it yourself. And obviously, you have to have an analog system on it or any kind of system for that matter. Next thing that I would say that Vital has that everything else doesn't, you can buy presets right off the bat. And the thing that makes Vital so advanced is that I think it's open source. I don't know if it's open source, but then you also have these meters and you can turn down your preview. You have the spectralizer. So if you like play any note, it tells you, hey, it's this, or it tells you in a graphic EQ kind of style. I don't really know what, this is called a spectralizer. This right here is the spectralizer. That's a spectralizer. This, I don't know what this is. I think it's like an EQ kind of look. So that's the, that's what I think is really cool. It's a little thing, but it tells you a lot. Um, and then you can obviously change your zoom through this button with your envelopes. This, this plugin has a random modifier, if you call it that. It has these kind of simple, but not so simple random modulators that you can apply to everything that that has great nuances over serum serum does not have any random modifiers on their plugin unless you kind of like make your own weight unless you make your own lfos or even like something as simple as that now vital does have some really cool velocity tracking and they have i think mpe you have macros you have i think about up to eight lfos it's a very watered down kind of serum and i think it's a very powerful way to tell you this thing is free you can make your own skins from it you could check for updates automatically the thing that phase plant has is that exactly but serum does not have that so you have to manually re-download the install for serum and reinstall it and maybe even reinstall all of your plugin information like your presets and your wavetables and that's the only thing that vital does over serum but the thing is you're not really going to want to compare this to serum except for the example of the transposition snapping you can snap this to any kind of like chord progression transposition so if you like do the quantize of like the, i don't know how it sounds but So it will snap all of those keys that I just played up a half step. 
or down or well, obviously vital does come with its own little specific engine which i think faceplant doesn't even have which is really nice because if you don't have a DAW, you can just literally just pop up vital in your windows instance and it's insane and i think it does work with your vst version because i think they share the same location the thing is that i don't like about vital is that sadly the unison doesn't get as like it gets as advanced as serum but it doesn't get as it doesn't have as much control and it doesn't have as much visualization that's the main thing that you don't see in vital you can have fan phase random uh phase randomization you can have the phase degree and then you have your detune percent but i the one thing i think serum has over vital is exactly that there's no blend between those little pages or the little layers of you get with unison so you can't really make it as seamless as say like a synth lead in serum it is a good plugin I, i'll give them that but the thing i think that basically renders all of these other plugins a little different from each other is the advanced options you can turn on high res high resolution wavetables you can play around with all of these effect oscillator oscillator options which all of these have their own advanced unison functions you can, and i think this is where you actually can mess around with unison blend so it might not be as obvious if you can see it in the base page you probably don't know how to use it now it is a very advanced plugin i'll give matt this it has a lot of different nuanced little things that i think you can play with and you can even change your oversampling you can change your voicing turn on mpe in advanced you can do your oversampling to be like eight times better which is like ultra powerful cpu which i'm not gonna do that because i might crash my computer however all of this is in the base version of vital uh the one thing that a lot of people moan about or complain about i should say is that you don't have a lot of presets you don't have all these amazing presets that Aram or even faceplant have now the thing about faceplant that everyone else likes is you can literally go in and just play with any of these uh, presets but you cannot use them because the editing is disabled if you don't so the thing about faceplant that i like a lot is there are random modifiers if you just press this new button you get an analog and then you get an LFO. They're not even an LFO. You can create your own random modifiers. This is really useful if you're making glitches. And it's really powerful. However, it doesn't come with enough plugin effects and you have to buy those. Now, this is where Sam takes that cake away from. Vitals Reverb does sound pretty good. I, I'll give Matt that as well. But. The reverb in Serum just does not sound so great, but the only thing that's carrying it is the compressor, distortion, hyper, dimension expander, the chorus, the filter. The filter is really straightforward, and it even has its own visualization in the main page. Whereas in Vital, it is a pretty much the same thing I know. So the thing I think Serum doesn't do as well is visualization. It only does so much because it's such a small plugin. It has to be like very simple. It's a simple synthesis plugin. However, it can be very advanced. It's, a, it's like a jack of all trades. If there was a very specific way to make the random thing like be a possibility, I would say put it in the major or even the global or even effects. Make it a, a random effect. Or maybe even put it in between the envelope and LFO. I don't know. But that's just my critique of Serum. Vital and Faceplant are both as powerful as Serum. I think Vital, while it is free, it has some limitations. I don't know how many alphas you can assign to a, a given function, but I'll digress. It's a good plugin. It, it looks stylish. I mean, if people made skins for this thing, I, I would definitely use them in a heartbeat. Uh, if people made things for this plugin and if Matt opened it up to open source, that would be amazing. But sadly, there is only so much functionality you can do with this plugin. There is a 3D, um, 3D wave, and then there's a spectral wave. You can go to 2D, uh, which is like a gra graphical GUI look. And then you have your, it, it does this for all of your oscillators. So if you're like, hey, I want a more spectral view, go for it. And then you got your sample, which I'm pretty sure is pretty cool on its own, right? You can make some pretty cool power, powerful basses and powerful sounds in this plugin, regardless of if you like it or not. It is 100% free. I think it, it's, it stacks up really decently well against Serum and Faceplant. Maybe not so much as Faceplant, but I think it's a good blend between the two. That's my final. Draft. So if you're like, hey, where can I get these three plugins? I'll, leave, I'll link them all 
with the resources I got them in in the description. I got Faceplant at I think Kilo Hearts website, Serum on Plugin Boutique, and then Vital from Vital's website. You can't really get this anywhere else. So yeah, that's my final verdict. I think Vital ranks about second or third in the list. However, it does sound pretty well built from when from when you look at it. It looks just by looking at it, it looks sleek. It looks nice. It has this function of like cleanliness that I think Serum has, but Faceplant does. Faceplant reminds me of like an Ableton plugin. I'm an Ableton stock plugin because it's gray. You, I don't think you can get any skins for it, but there is this mini game. This, this game, I've not played it. <laughs> I've not played it, but it, it's a basically a Space Invaders remake. It's a little, it's a little Easter egg you can get into. Uh, I don't think Faceplant is any kind of it's its own beast, I guess. Serum is its own beast. Vital is, is its own complete beast. Um, I think Matt did very well for what he what he wanted to do with this plugin. There are viable versions of this. You can subscribe for five dollars a month. It's very affordable to get special things. So if you want to go get it, be my guest. But if you don't want to get it, I mean, you're kind of hurting yourself just by not wanting this plugin. This plugin was extremely like. It's extremely good, I guess. And the fact that you can have assignable mod and pitch wheels, I think you can learn this to a MIDI assignment so you can play around with the mod and pitch wheel. It's insane. There, there's so much you can do with this plugin. However, I don't think it's the best. I think it could be better. I don't know how, but like the one thing I hate about the initialized presets, they have to turn down the attack as mode at least. But that 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 I can overcome. I think there could be a little more straightforward tutorials about this game, this whole system. It is a good plugin, and I think it, it should be really regarded as such. My name is Artic. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell icon in the process. This has been Vital vs. Serum vs. Faceplant, and we compared all three in one video, in a short video at that. I might make a more in-depth video when I have the time. Thanks for watching. My name is Artic. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.